take three. The first one was vertical. The second one was vertical. The second one was like 15 minutes. Let's try this again, BB, okay? Here we go. This is BB's ratings of box mac and cheeses. So, today I had Annie's mac and cheese for the first time, the white cheddar one, for the first time in about 15 years. Back when I had it a few times in 2009 and 2010, I found it very um, distasteful, unappealing, unpleasant, and sour. And I mean that with no puns and all puns. I mean it. Um, so, these are, you know, I like trying different types of white cheddar mac and cheeses, whether they're frozen or they're in a box or they're refrigerated prepped. Um, these deluxe ones right here, the craft ones, I just bought a four pack of those on Amazon recently and I took one with me to work for lunch today. They're okay. They're not as good as if you do it on the stove, but they're okay. And you know what? This looks totally new to me, this macaroni from like Riceroni. But I can't find it on Amazon. And I don't think I've ever seen it at Winco or Walmart or Safeway or Target or Fred Meyer. So maybe it's not sold in my region in Washington State and Western Washington and King County in Renton. Um, so I've never seen that before. And that as for Annie's Deluxe, I don't think I've seen that one before in a rectangle box. I, I, I got the standard Annie's in the tall box today. Um, one exception to the rule of box mac and cheese is Devour. Devour has, in the box mac and cheese section, kind of like the Hormel microwavable style container of this mushy, vacuum sealed... <laughs> mac and cheese it's already made and prepped but it's full of preservatives to be vacuum sealed and then when you take the the, the wrapper and sealant off it's supposed to like congeal or something and then you put it in the microwave and then I think you add like I don't know if you add water or if you maybe you just be generous and add a few little drops of water I'm not sure um, but they have the bacon mac bacon white cheddar one in the box section, but in the same style as like the Hormel mushy containers. Gross. I have yet to try Trader Joe's, but there isn't one in my city. I love the signature select white cheddar. Usually that's eighty nine cents or seventy nine cents. Seventy nine cents, eighty nine cents, or 99 cents at my local Safeway. Sometimes it's up to a dollar 19. Um, last I saw it was like a dollar nine. Mm. Macaroni. Like I said, never seen that before. Cracker Barrel. That is a two out of ten for me. I've tried it. I don't like it. I did not like it one bit. I ended up throwing it out because I like maybe five or six spoonfuls of it and I was like disgusting atrocious nasty I couldn't stand it horizon defunct not sold in stores anymore not manufactured anymore not even made anymore but it was really good I've had horizon countless times before and I would buy it like at QFC or Safeway when I lived in Ballard um, and I bought it, I think, a handful of times at Winco. Like 2018, 2019, 2020. And I think I bought it once or twice at Target. And it was really good. And then one day, poof, no more Horizon. But it was still really good. Like, Horizon doesn't even do milk anymore. So what happened to Horizon? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Cabot. Mmm, seriously sharp. I've had that one before. Um, just this, this one right here, the seriously sharp. I've had that. It was good. But I think it was like $4.49 for a box. 
And I'm like, that's kind of pricey. But you know what? I haven't seen Cabot in stores in over two or three years since I last had it. And supposedly, it's, you can get it on Amazon, but like in a 12-pack. And I don't think I want a 12-pack of Cabot. I'd like to try it again if I can find one single box. But I haven't seen it at any grocery stores in my area. Not at all. As for like a Cabot Deluxe, haven't seen that one either. Earth Balance. That is on my list to try, but I haven't had it. I know it's at my... I, I've seen it at Safeway, and I've seen it at Walmart, and I've seen it at Fred Meyer, but it's like six forty nine a box. Really expensive. Wild Fork. Never heard of it, but interesting. Bonsai. It's uh, made with chickpea, and I've seen like the binging with babish one. Food review where binging with where Babish did like a whole box mac and cheese video of just like all the box mac and cheeses and he was disgusted after one bite. I believe him. It looks gross. I want some mac and cheese bites, but without the bacon. There used to be a deli called the Boar's Head Deli. They had like grilled sandwiches, they had bratwurst, they had Unique looking funny hot dog bratwursts. They had smoked sausages and dewy sausages. They had mac and they, they had these deep fried mac and cheese balls when I lived in Ballard in Seattle. And unfortunately, that business went out of business a long time ago. But I remember getting their deep fried mac and cheese balls maybe once every two or three months. I wish I'd had them more often. One time I bought a double order. But that was like $25 out of my pocket. Needless to say, they were so delicious. Deep fried mac and cheese balls and the greatest batter. I wish I could get those again somewhere. Who knows? Maybe at the Puyallup Fair this year. Um, Goodles. I'm not sure about Goodles. Like, Babish said they were kind of papery thin. And a couple of other YouTubers have said, oh, they're kind of papery thin. It's kind of a wet, very soggy feel. They're kind of like egg noodles. And they're very strange in appearance. And the cheese doesn't stick to the pasta. What's that? I don't recognize that one. I think I saw an H-E-B on here earlier, but we don't have any H-E-Bs in my, in my state. That's like a Midwest name. Oh. I've had, like, this Kroger one before, but when I, whenever I go to Fred Meyer, I don't see that box anymore, so that's kind of weird. But I would buy it again. I would. It's basically the Safeway version, but, I don't know, just slightly tastier than the Safeway version, but not by much. Maybe, like, 0.5. And then the Artisan Crafted Great Value is really good. But my local Walmart just doesn't seem to have them in stock very often. And they only have, like, one kind. Usually, like, the Alfredo one. But I know there's, like, four or five different varieties of this deluxe Walmart version of mac and cheese. But, and I, I've had all five of them. All four or five of them. I've had them all. But it's just, like, I don't see it very often. And I should go to a different Walmart. Maybe, like, Auburn or... Federal Way or Covington if I want to find the boxes in a better supply. But we never get around to going to those Walmarts. Um, Bob Evans. Eh, I'm not a big fan of Bob Evans. Even the mashed potatoes are kind of weird. Now, Stouffer's. I've had the Stouffer's white cheddar and I've had the Lean Cuisine white cheddar. The Lean Cuisine Vermont aged white cheddar is good, but it's not worth three seventy nine for a single tiny little microwave meal. No, I would pay like a dollar ninety nine, but not three seventy nine, because frozen food is just way overpriced. So, anyways, let's go to my list. Cracker Barrel, two out of ten. Winco is three and a half out of ten. Western Family. If you have Western Family products at your grocery stores, I'm just letting you know my opinion is 4 out of 10. I got it when we used to have a SARS grocery store. 
it, it's like a, a chain of like discount grocery stuff um, in western Washington, but like a lot of them are gone. And the one that was in my city closed at the end of the pandemic. And I stopped going there at some point. It was like right next to Goodwill. The nearest one is in like Tuckwilla or Fuckwilla. And I've been to that one like twice. It's okay. I think it used to be a Tops, but then it was rebuilt to be like a SARS with a subway. Western F and SARS also had another brand, kind of like Western Family and Signature combined, but I can't remember the name of it. If you know the name of it that's like Western Family but not Western Family, type it in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Then we have Kroger QFC Premier. It's like the Walmart Artisan boxes, but with a Kroger QFC Premier. So if you know Kroger stores, different Kroger's have like different subsets of stores like Myers or Fred Meyer. Um, some of them are Vons, some of them are Jewel Osco, and some of them are QFC if you live in the Pacific Northwest. I don't shop at QFC anymore. We haven't gone to QFC in over a year because too goddamn or too goddamn overpriced and it's a little bit too far from home. And then also it's very limited selection for a lot of dry goods, a lot of pantry things, and even its cold stuff and produce is really limited. After that we have Walmart standard white cheddar in the standard box. The El Cheapo, 4 out of 10 again. It's not that good, not that great. I'll eat maybe 50% of it and then I'll be like, okay, that's enough. Craft white cheddar shells. I can buy that in, at any store. Regular. They're okay. But I'd rather have something better. Whole Foods 365 white cheddar elbows. I bought those on Amazon once. They were okay. They were pretty good, but I... I think I stopped at like 90% of it, and then I threw the rest away. Safeway Signature Select, that's my go-to. Like I said, it could be $0.79, cents, $0.89, cents, $0.99, cents, $1.09 a box. Last I saw it was like $1.19, and I'm like, no, I'm good. Cabot, like I said, no longer on store shelves in my area, but I would buy it again, but if it was like under $3. Six and a half out of ten. Flavor was good, it was rich, it was yummy. It had kind of like an Irish white cheddar taste, like kind of buttery, but kind of sharp, like a really extra sharp white cheddar taste. It was okay. Kroger normal white cheddar. I will eat that. That's kind of like the Safeway one, but just a, a smidge up the ladder. Horizon Classic Mac. Defunct. No longer in business. What happened to Horizon and their food products and their milk and their butter? I don't know. You tell me. I miss it, though, but it was kind of expensive for a mac and cheese box. It was, I don't know, like three ninety nine a box compared to Kraft. And I've, I've had the Good and Gather um, white cheddar mac and cheese from the box, and I, I didn't put that on here, um, but it was, I don't know, mediocre, and I, I don't remember what it tasted like. Then we have Kroger Simple Truth Organic White Cheddar Shells, which is kind of like the Kroger one, but it's shells. And it's their Simple Truth style. And it was 7 out of 10. Slightly better than the standard Kroger. Then we have Annie's White Cheddar. Like I said, I had it for the first time today in over 15 years, and it was good. And I saved the rest in a container to take to work with me tomorrow for my work lunch. Great Value Artisan Craft White Cheddar. Like I said, if my local Walmart had a better selection of it, I would buy it more often. But usually they only have the Alfredo one, so I won't buy that. Like I said, I, I don't mind the Alfredo, but it's not really my thing to call Alfredo mac and cheese as mac and cheese. Followed by Good and Gather, the Target slash prepped version. It's kind of like Hormel, where it's cold and it's called prep mac and cheese. And then you put it in your microwave when you get home. I like that one. That's a really good white cheddar. And then we have Kraft White Cheddar Elbows OG. The original version. The original generation of Kraft White Cheddar. It was 2002 to 2019. It could have been made in the 90s as well. 
but it's, it's defunct, no longer manufactured or sold in my region, at least since the pandemic. Nine out of ten. And then the shells replaced it. But I missed that one. It, it, it couldn't mix it, though, with um, the Safeway Select brand because the tastes were very different between just the bland pasta and then the white cheddar powder. Very different. Very different in quality. I, did, I mixed them together once and I regretted it and I had to throw it all away. It was awful. But I, I want those white cheddar elbows back so badly. And then the final one, not even a 10 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. Craft White Cheddar Deluxe Goo Version. I don't add the little seasoning pack of like the black pepper with the salt and the garlic in it. I, I think that's overkill. I had it once and I didn't like it. But I get the Goo Version of Craft White Cheddar Deluxe and it's good. And sometimes I buy the Mac and Cheese Cup version. The Mac and Cheese Cup. The, the Easy Mac version of Craft White Cheddar Deluxe. I bought that recently. I took one with me to work today. It tasted okay. You just got to pour out all the water after it's done in the microwave to make sure that the cheese mix, goo mixes in and it doesn't get too soggy. So anyways, that's a long video with BB today. But you know what? That's the best I have. If you made it this far to the 17 minute mark, congratulations. If you didn't, then you're not hearing me. Box mac and cheese is a competition. I tell ya, it is. Okay, bye-bye.